Hey guys, so we have a huge Target haul. If you follow my vlog channel regularly, which if you don't, it's HKD Vlogs. I will leave the link down below. I have so much to share with you guys. It was such a huge Target haul. Target was having not only a 10% coupon, just like on your order in general or your purchase in store, but 30% off of their clothes. And if you know my family, I have four girls, 11, seven, four, and one, and <laughs> We have gone through hand-me-downs year after year after year after year <laughs> and we finally hit the point where hand-me-downs are just no longer working for us. They have all gotten really good use out of them and they just have become so either too small for each of the girls or just completely worn out. So it was time to kind of refresh their winter wardrobe a little bit. Again, if you're new here, we live in San Antonio, and I feel like my hair's being weird. Um, we live in San Antonio, Texas, and it has been kind of crazy. It is now December 13th, and it is probably about high 60s out today, um, but tonight and for the next few days, it's supposed to get down into the 40s and 50s, which is pretty chilly for us. It definitely requires a long sleeve, so they, they were wearing summer clothes. In fact, two of them were even wearing summer clothes today because they have nothing else really to wear all of their pants and all of their shirts they've outgrown so at, for target um cat and jack sizing i'll just talk about this kind of once before i show you guys um, what all i got um cat and jack sizing autumn is in a small which is a six six x in the tops in the pants she's in the extra small four five and maddie is in Really, she's in the medium 7-8, but once we wash it one time, even on cold, the next time it is a little too tight on her. So I've sized her up to the large 10-12, and she's 7, but she's a big 7-year-old. She's long and lean, and she needs that extra <laughs> that extra length from the 10-12. The waist is a little bit big, and the shirts are a little bit long on her, but it's better to have a little bit bigger than a little too small, or just right, at least in my opinion, especially when I'm buying for multiple children similar in size. Um, so her pants, I did do 7-8 because Again, the actually I think I did 10-12 on her pants. Never mind. For Emmy though, she is in a 10-12 in the large. 10-12 fits her perfectly. I cannot size up on her the 14-16. She's just absolutely swimming in. The sleeves are like baggy, baggy. The pants won't stay up. So I have to keep. I had to keep her in her true size. So the cool thing about Maddie and Emmy being in the same size is I got them kind of some neutral shirts. I got them each their own stuff, and then I got them shirts that they could kind of share, that both of them would, would pretty much like. Um, I mean, they probably each would like each other's stuff, but this is like more geared to what they would like, and then in the middle is like, they probably both would like them, and it would be fine, and they can share back and forth. So it kind of expands their wardrobe, because if Emmy's wearing it on Monday, Maddie can wear it on Thursday or Wednesday, and no one's going to know the difference. I buy them matching stuff all the time anyway. Autumn is in a size of her own. She's nowhere near the big girls or near Everly. So she got some stuff to kind of fill her wardrobe. She does get the most hand-me-downs though. Autumn's wardrobe is almost entirely hand-me-downs. In fact, we just went through Emmy's clothes and I handed down just a couple of things to Maddie but we went through Maddie's clothes and half of her wardrobe went to Autumn so I got a few things for Autumn to kind of fill in and then I did get a few things for Everly who's one um, I got her 18 months and 2T pants is what she needed because she's got a little junk in her trunk and she needs the bigger pants so that they can last her until the spring and then I got some personal items I won't share these but I did I would like to tell you guys just for like first time bras and stuff i really like these um it's the hanes everyday comfort and i got them for both of the girls just to kind of cover up i got some that have like little racer backs um they're very very it's just kind of a modesty padding nothing crazy for maddie because she's only seven but she is a little bit more just overall developed than emmy is at 11 so she needs she needs a little bit of help but um with emmy she just needed more of them in general so i won't they'll probably be super embarrassed if i show you guys these completely but i would recommend the on the go comfort um 
the ones with the removable remo blah, blah, <laughs> removable modesty pads from Hanes. They're super comfortable, easy to wash, and they're not, it's just like a very, it's not even a training bra. It's almost like a padded sports bra that just kind of helps them cover. Nothing crazy, um, but they both really enjoy those. So I picked up like seven of those, and they're $12 a piece, which you get a two pack for $12. So having 30% off of that was amazing because that alone was $100 worth of bras. So 30% off of that um, because it was all clothes, all accessories, all shoes. I did not find any shoes, unfortunately. I was kind of disappointed in that. But all, everything else, um, so to get, again, 30% off of $100 was a big deal. And then 10% overall and then i use my target red card which is an additional five percent off so i almost got 50 percent off of those bras which is a great deal because it's a necessity for them and i wish they'd had my size <laughs> it's a necessity for them and to get them at that great of a deal is awesome um, i also picked up a few clearance stuff so talking about like swimsuits and stuff this in December is ridiculous I know but this is a cat and jack it actually is a medium 7 8 I find that bathing suits run very small so this should fit autumn next summer and I think it's cute I typically the Easter Bunny brings them a um, swimsuit but we won't need <laughs> a swimsuit for Easter because um, this one like I said I'm sure will fit autumn it's super cute has the ruffle detailing here and then the crisscross in the back so that was on clearance for $5, and really the summertime is the best time to find clearance items. And again, Autumn typically gets the hand-me-down bathing suits from the big girl, so she usually has the widest variety of bathing suits. The big girls always need new ones. So this one is also for Autumn. This one is Cat and Jack on sale for $5, and it is a 6, it's a small 6, 6X. So I think this will fit her fine so these are the bottoms with the little cherries on them and then it's like a a tankini but it's like a half tankini so it, it only shows her belly button so she's good for swimsuits for next year those are cute and then the cat and jack pants i love because they have the one year warranty the extra durable knee on them um like i said i got her pants in a four five which is the extra small these are cute it's just black with little holographic stars and then I picked her up some shirts um, this is a small just a troll shirt this was originally ten dollars so again everything I'm showing you was original price minus 30 percent so for that one would have been seven minus ten percent so 630 minus five percent so what is that like right under six dollars so really really great deal I mean I could not pass it up for the quality of clothes um all these shirts are in a small 6 6x because they tend to so it'll be a little bit big on her she just turned well she's four almost four and a half um it'll be a little bit big on her for a little while but one wash it'll fit her nicely so this one's floral it says love makes a family this one is good for winter just pink with a gold a gold snowflake on it these are all definitely right up her aisle and what's cool is that she'll probably only wear these each a few times so then i'll have them for everly this one is a unicorn super cute and then i got her and everly matching these and it says super fun sister i would have got them all but they did not have this size in the big girls shirt so i got autumn that one and then the sweaters were a really great deal they're normally only did i say how much these shirts were these are seven dollars so it made them like under five like four maybe even 375 um, which is a great deal these are originally eight dollars so this is a sweater material it's fleece lined on the inside so super soft and cozy i got her the same size as small and this one just says love in purple so i thought that, that was cute she needed the least amount of stuff just simply because like i said she has a lot of hand-me-downs and she's super rough on her clothes super rough so i feel like when she starts school next year well she's in pre-k now but when she starts kinder and she needs more of like her own clothes and stuff we'll go we'll kind of go from there but right now since she plays so hard every day i'm perfectly fine with that little bit of clothes plus the hand-me-down stuff so next is i think this is maddie's pile so the pants were six dollars so i picked her up this gray pair it has this gold 
line on the side totally up her alley again 10 12 is probably going to be a little bit big but she'll be able to grow with them which is cool i picked her up a pack from sam's club as well those were actually about three dollars a piece which is a great deal it's just a basic black navy and gray and i got her a size 10 12 as well so i picked her up the same star holographic pants um the pants were kind of harder for emmy because she's not into that kind of stuff she doesn't care for like any she likes very basic black pants this is a teal color i actually did buy this for them to share because um the glitter i don't know that emmy will love the glitter but if she doesn't like it it's fine i picked her up one pair of black and then this is maddie's sweater so again same thing um the bigger sweaters were still eight dollars so i got her a 10 12 this is super cute just like a dusty blue with pink polka dots and heart she's gonna love that and then her cat and jack shirts i got specifically for her is this rainbow one she loves little like rainbows unicorns that kind of stuff she's so girly and then this one for winter it's just like a koala bear with some penguins <laughs> she's gonna love that and then a Christmas one because she's the only one that doesn't have a Christmas shirt that fits her. She had one that she wore to meet Santa and it was her belly was showing. I made her like tuck it in before pictures. So I picked her up this panda. She loves, she's going to love this. Emmy may like this as well. Pandas with Christmas trees. Maddie's still at like a really fun age to buy for because she's pretty much happy with anything. Um, Emmy's starting to get a little tougher. She's 11 and she's starting to get... Well, she probably has been for almost a year now to where she's more like, I don't like that material. I don't like that cut of shirt or that cut of pants, or I don't like the glitter. I don't like the sparkles. She's definitely girly on the tomboy side, if that makes any sense. Like she likes a little bit more of the style that's in the boys section. I hate to assign genders to clothes because in our house, like I could care less what you want to wear, but when I find stuff for her, a lot of it is from the boys section. She enjoys that kind of style. So like this, Emmy would not like this. <laughs> this is definitely not something she would wear. This was on clearance. Um, it's the art class brand and it was on clearance for $8. So this is for Maddie. It is in a size, what size did I get this? I think a medium yeah a medium seven eight but it's definitely kind of baggy and oversized it's a floral cutout shirt kind of looks like lace doily with a little tank top underneath she's gonna love this it would look so cute with the some either jeans with boots or black leggings with boots for the winter time she's gonna love that and but yeah emmy may she may still appease me and wear that but she wouldn't really care for it. I know she wouldn't. And then I picked up this winter one. It's pink with some snow globes, unicorns, snails. Again, right up her alley. And then I did pick her up a character shirt, LOL. And it's just like a baseball style. So that was cute. And this one says ultra rare, which we've never found an ultra rare LOL, which we don't even really, she loves LOLs, but we don't really mess with them too, too much just because of all this stuff going on with them, but she still really loves them. Probably a little bit different angle of an angle. I had to switch up my battery. So that was the end of Maddie. Now Everly, this was on clearance for $5 as well. It actually is in a 3T, but considering she wears like an 18 months and can actually wear a 24 month jammy, I'm assuming this will fit her next summer, no problem. <laughs> Usually with um, bathing suits, we have to size up a few anyway. So I'm thinking this will fit her. Plus she'll still be in a diaper next year. So the bottom should be fine, but it's super cute. Again, $5, she's not going to need another swimsuit. And actually we have, I think one or two baby, like toddler swimsuits that we handed down to her because most swimsuits hold up so nicely. And again, $5, you cannot beat that. And normally it was 17. So, um, and it's floral, it's so pretty with the navy stripes. So I picked up that. And then like I said, she got um, a bunch of pajamas, which she needed desperately. She got a bunch of pajamas and a few outfits for her birthday. And I don't know if she's getting anything for Christmas, but I know she needed, I still need to pick her up a pair of shoes, but she needed pants. So I picked her up these 18 month jeggings. 
so cute. <laughs> now the baby stuff was um, $7 for this. So, you know, again, around $4 or so, $3.75 after all the discounts. Those are so stinking cute. I picked her up this super fun sister in the 18 months, which actually may not even fit her very long. Um, shirts like that tend to shrink and go up and show their punts up pretty quickly. I got the um, 18 months black jeggings. So they actually have the little pockets. Again, those were originally seven. And then I picked her up the Cat and Jack. Um, I guess these are just the leggings. Now these I got in a 2T because they seemed significantly smaller than the 18 month leggings. And these were originally $5. So I think these are going to fit her fine. The only thing she may have is some length. But because she's a little on the chunkier side, she's like almost 24 pounds and just turned one, um, she needs that extra. So these are super cute black with the star leggings and then, or star gold foiling. And then this is black with silver glitter, again in a 2T. And then I got her these gray with the unicorns, super cute. Again, in a 2T. So that's all I picked up for Everly. Um, like I said, the only other thing I'll need to get is shoes. And I did look for shoes there, but I just found that they did not have a great... First off, they she's in a size 4. I did not see a size 4 in Target. So I don't even know if they actually carry a size 4 or not. Um, so I'll have to check like Walmart or something, which is fine. Her shoes are normally under $10 anyway. Um, so then for Emmy, I picked her up in an extra large. So this looked very small to me in the large. It was smaller than the normal large 1012, and this was more similar in size. So she loves Harry Potter, so this is a Hogwarts gold foiling. I hope she really likes that. Again, it's kind of hard for me to purchase for her when she's not around. Um, this one is cute, it's pink with a pizza. This is something I feel like both of them maybe would want to wear so i picked her up that one and then her sweater is a little different it's a hoodie so it's a little more expensive at only ten dollars so it's two dollars more has that same material and the same like fleece inside so definitely warm it's blue and it has stars and a moon like the solar system i think she's going to love that she loves this kind of stuff it has the hoodie pockets here and it has a hood so I thought that that was pretty cool. So I picked her up that one. And then I picked her up this purple monkey shirt with, and it's drinking hot chocolate for winter time. And then I picked her up this cat shirt. I think she's gonna like this one the most. This is um, gray. I don't know if you guys can see it with like holographic cats on it. Really cute. And then this one, these colors are probably going to be her favorite. This is like a dark teal, and it says, when one of us shines, we all shine. And there are five stars. Cute, and then the last thing that I got for her is this, again, totally up her alley. This was on clearance for $3.89. And it's just, it's kind of like a long sleeve t-shirt, but it has, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on the names of these robots but they're from star wars anyway it doesn't matter I, i'm like literally drawing a blank watch when i'm editing this i'm gonna be like why couldn't you remember so i've seen the star wars movies but i can't remember their names so anyway it's that and it has some writing down the bottom and it has a hood she loves things with hoods so that's right up alley and then for christmas they're in the playroom so i can't talk too much for christmas um i got them i think i have clips that i'm going to go into now that of stuff that I'm wrapping up for them. A dog! Wait, it winds up at the bottom. Wait, can I wind it up, Mommy? Excuse me, Mom. Thank you. My turn. Wait. Here's a couple things that I got. What is that? <laughs> Leaves. Uh, a few things that I got today at Target as well, but I'm wrapping them tonight and putting them under the tree so I thought I would share with you guys they're from Harper and Elliot which I've never heard of but it's a, apparently a Target brand it's a super cute lounge it's supposed to be like kind of cropped um, or like a high-low but it's a medium so it won't be that high-low this is for Maddie 
has a hood, pink and light green. Camo, super cute, and then just some joggers. These are both in a medium and they were $15, not including the sale. And then I also got Maddie this sweater just for fun. Um, she has a lot of other clothes like I showed you. What? Why are there leaves all over it? So I thought this would be a cute one to wrap up for a Christmas present. I got her a large 1012, kind of like I explained in the rest of the haul. Um, really, her and Emmy could interchange and it'll last her a lot longer. She's seven and she wears a true size eight, but she can size up, especially in stuff like this, it's perfectly fine to be a little oversized. And this is only $8, which is a great price normally and it's Cat and Jack brand. And then this one's for Emmy. It was, I don't even know where, if it came from like the boys section or what, because I found it on a random like shelf just hanging there. Um, but it's a Minecraft sweater. $12, again, a really great price. This is the brand, apparently by Target sells it with 30% off, it was even better. She loves Minecraft, I think she's gonna really enjoy that sweater, so I'm gonna wrap that for her. And then her jogger set is this tie-dye, which is so funny, because it looks very similar to the tie-dye set that she actually created. So I got her bottoms in a medium. She has a very petite waist, and her and Maddie are not far off in size. So like I said, they could actually share some tie-dye joggers. And then her top, I got in an extra large because she's only 11. It's from that same brand. This looked a little smaller and a little bit more cropped. And she's she's 11. <laughs> We're not trying to be all hoochified or anything. So I got the extra large so that it would hang lower on her. And it says girls support girls, which I thought was cute, kind of in the coordinating colors as the joggers and it's long sleeve. So again, just a nice cozy set. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap those. They're getting those for Christmas. And then I also picked up some household stuff, some beauty stuff and all of that that I will again show you in these clips here. I'm gonna take some of this stuff downstairs and again, stuff that you don't need to see in the hall but as part of it. Um, I'm stocked up on Ziploc bags, just the up and up brand which is a Target brand because when we were at Costco and Sam's the other day, I totally forgot to grab them and I am completely out of gallon bags. So I picked up four of the gallon sliders. These were on sale for $2. Two, insane. So I picked up four. I wouldn't even have been able to get them for that great of a price at Costco or Sam's anyway, even on sale. So I'm set for a while. I picked up quart freezer. I have a whole four pack of gallon freezer, but not quart freezer. And I hate to waste a gallon bag if I can use a quart. So especially like when I'm doing chicken breast, if, if I don't vacuum seal them, I can fit two to three large chicken breasts in a quart, at least two. So that, and then I got a big thing of sandwich bags, a big thing of snack size bags, and then two quart storage. I'm down to my last quart slider storage, and this one busted open. So I'm gonna have to tape him back together. All my junk in my cart is what ended up happening. So those are going downstairs, but <laughs> they were also part of my very large Target haul today. And then this stuff too, I'm about to go downstairs and put in a bag um, so my anybody doesn't see it when we come to bed. I actually need to clear out the whole bed. Um, so this will not be in the haul that I film tomorrow, but it's for his stocking. I finished his stocking up today. So I always get him some goodies. So this will go in a regular, just like gift bag, Doritos, Dynamite, <laughs> Chile Limon. I don't know if those look good. Snickers are his, by far his favorite candy. I'm whispering because he's downstairs. So I'm gonna put that in his gift bag. He loves anything spicy, so I got him this jalapeno um, beef jerky and this huge Ferrero Rocher ball. He's gonna love that. So those things are going to go in his gift bag. These are going to go in his stocking. A new scraper and blade set. He loves having this. Um, I bought these tools for his upstairs toolbox. He doesn't have a blade set in there, so I got that. And then um, a mini plier set. So it comes with, I don't know what kind of pliers those are, but this will be perfect for his upstairs um, toolbox. And then a new loofah. He always likes getting those. And a new um, body and face wash. And then I actually got him a new cologne and a bathrobe to go 
with this stuff. So that'll go in his stocking. And if I can remember, I may pick up some scratch offs as well. He, I put that in his stocking last year and he really liked it. Then for the girls, I'm going to take this and hide this as well because if it's out here, they will look at it. This kinetic sand was on sale. It's six pounds of three different colors. So I'm going to split it up and put it in one color in each of their stockings. They love kinetic sand. I think that'll be a hit. This little Harry Potter, Harry Potter Lego set is for Emmy. She loves Harry Potter. I got this crazy snowman sand, watching the sand, watching the snow grow or something for Autumn's um, stocking. And then this Play-Doh little, you decorate him with um, Play-Doh and it comes with a little Play-Doh to decorate. That's for Autumn as well. I got one for Maddie. This one's a Christmas tree. I got two etches sketch the little mini ones. I think these are so cute. They had a little light bright I wish I had got a hold of, but they were sold out. So I picked up an etch sketch for Maddie and for Emmy. Is that right? One and one. One and one. Yes. And then I picked up these Reese's Pieces trees a six pack so two for each of them and I already have a whole bunch of little things downstairs this was just extra to add to their stocking and then yeah you should have watched or will watch the rest of the haul also for the stocking I got these earrings for Emmy she loves llamas so I thought these were really cute they were only $5.99 also part of the 30% off sales so three different color llamas she's gonna love those she's the only one that can wear like this cutesy jewelry um maddie and well autumn's not as allergic but maddie's allergic to it says nickel free but she always has a reaction when she wears just like costume jewelry so emmy it is maddie can wear these for a very short time but emmy can wear them day in and day out and she loves stuff like this so that and then i got these headbands for Maddie and Autumn again only $5.99 I think I'm gonna split them up and give um, two and two because everything ends up being shared in this household so those are super cute also by Kat and Jack and then the last thing before I show you all the clothing um, is this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I've been wanting to try this for Emmy's hair but not only her hair my hair as well this was $12 so I don't know how far it'll go this container it's 12 ounces but i've seen on tiktok that this stuff is absolutely amazing <laughs> so definitely for my textured hair um let me know if you have any good reviews with this for hair that's closer in texture to emmy's because i struggle getting her curls to kind of stay placed we have a denman brush and i use all kinds of gel and stuff from um, curly haired Facebook pages and stuff but it's just not the same so I've seen that this is amazing so I'm going to give this a try let me know if you have any suggestions though and then I did get a few things for my honey bunny he loves baseball tees I'm hoping he likes these we'll see I'm just gonna let him have them now so that he can try them on if he doesn't like them, we can take them back but this is just like a dark gray and a light gray baseball tee and then I got him the white and maroon or it's like a cream and maroon and those are the brand Goodfellow and then I got one thing for me this is a magenta sweater it's from Ava and Viv I got a 2x and it's just a, a basic long sleeve like sweater it's very bouncy and the sleeves are cuffed at the bottom so it's like got balloon sleeves so really pretty yeah and that was a really long haul i know <laughs> with everything that i got but i got such good deals i'm really really excited that pretty much like i said all their shopping and stuff is done i i probably won't even reevaluate what else they need we'll just make it work especially because we're distance learning they're not going to school if they were i wouldn't even worry about clothes because they wear a uniform so I'm really excited I headed into Target when I did to get the sales and all that good stuff. I hope they really like their stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know I haven't done a haul like this in a really long time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.